because there's a lot of short films when you look at it, like, oh, I was shot with a mini DV camera. Um, right. You know, it's just it, so, and it has some, and it, if I'm not mistaken, it has some visual effects in it. It does have some. Yeah, it has some really polished look to it. Um, yeah. What kind of, you know, how did you, how did that, how did you go after that aesthetic, and and then and then to build the tutorials around it. Um, so like it started with the camera because mm-hmm. I was so, uh, self-taught and new, I probably bought into the hype a little bit of like, Oh, you know, a, the marketing of like a, a better camera will make you better. Um, and so I <laughs> moved up from like the DSLR to the, uh, buy in red, the scarlet, and then just kept going up. And each time I would get that new camera, I did kind of feel, um, a pressure of like, I have a nice cam, like I can't fuck this up. Like yeah. I need to. I need to bring in lights now and I need to do these other things that come along with this higher end camera. Uh, whereas before, like maybe I had one light, like now I invest in some more lights and ways to move the camera. Um, I was really into drones kind of before they were a big thing and wanted to work aerials in and all that stuff. So it, it kind of started with the camera because I, I moved up and then um, anamorphic lenses, like I got into that. And the aesthetic, you know, became a big part of it because as somebody that was self-taught with like a VHS camera, I was so uh, behind the curve on the aesthetic that I always thought if I can just get up to like acceptable levels, then I can mm-hmm. go back to just like telling stories mm-hmm. and the acceptable level of cinematography. And I really got into cinematography right now. I'm, I'm not as into it cause I've kind of hit that point where it's like, let me hire saying, somebody. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And it's like uh, it, to go further, it requires 10 times more, uh, work for maybe not any more money. And I just don't like the, the job of cinematography enough to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, like I, I like, making films and I like the the process of telling stories, but the actual uh, job requirements of being a DP. Oh, it's, like it's, a, it's brutal. I did my first feature. I DP in my first feature. And after that, I was like, mm, yeah. I'm going to let, I'm going to let somebody else do this. I, it's a lot of tech. It's a lot of technical stuff. Like you don't get to, you know, like one enjoy. Of the I like, <laughs> yeah, right. A lot of like what I like in filmmaking is being able to kind of just play pretend, right? Mm-hmm. Like you get to play pretend and make cool stuff. And, and um, the technical aspect of filmmaking, it's always going to be there because mm-hmm. um, it's a technical field. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like a, an actor, they more or less get to just bask in that creative side of filmmaking 90 percent of the time. Like there's technical stuff like stand here, make mm-hmm. sure you're looking mm-hmm. at the camera. Uh, but, you know, a lot of time you just get to play pretend and DP, it's like 80, 20, like you're in technical mode a lot of the time. Right, as they should be. I mean, it, it, they, it's well, te- they have, yeah, they have to be. It's their technical job. You know, it's a technical, right. it's a very technical job. 